Seed Spray Ultimate is a sprayer that sprays just the weed. Traditionally, sprayers are sprayed broadcast spraying across a whole boom. Now we have the ability to spray right down to the weed level. They have one camera per meter across a whole boom, so it has 36 cameras. The cameras will see the weed, identify it, going up to 12 miles per hour, turn that specific nozzle on to spray that weed. A feature of this sprayer, the boom that's on it is a carbon fiber boom that's made specifically for the Sea and Spray Ultimate machine. It has a ability to hold the boom at a consistent height across the field. The Boom Track Ultimate version senses the ground and maintains that consistent height so the cameras have that consistency that they need for identifying the weeds and spraying them. This technology continues to evolve. The dealers of RDO equipment, our mission is to stay with that technology and ability to support that and it's the entire team at RDO Equipment that we're bringing along this technology journey. That's what is expected from our customers that are buying these machines, that we can keep them up and going. One of the things that sets RDO apart from the competition is when you look at the diversification of our company, how we're spread across the U.S. and across other countries as well, we have an opportunity to see different applications being used. We were one of the first dealers in U.S. to have a Sea and Spray Select, which was the first version of this. We we're exposed to that and learned from that and learned different things of what it's going to take to support it. Traditional spraying, you'll have the entire field with the broadcast application. Here, you're not spraying the herbicide on crop where there's no weeds, so that we're not affecting the crop at all and you can spray specifically where the weed is at. That's an immense savings when it comes to herbicide application. When you look at it from an environmental standpoint and the amount of synthetic herbicides they're using on your field, it's drastically reducing the amount that's getting put on the crop. This spray is also set up with a dual tank delivery system. What that gives you is ability to apply two products at once. There's different configurations. What a grower could do really depends on what his operation is. A lot of the customers want to have a pre-emerge that they're putting on at the same time that they're putting a post-emerge contact application. A good example could be Roundup Ready soybeans where you have some weeds that are emerged that are coming. So you do a targeted out of the front tank of spraying those weeds and the rear tank could be doing a residual herbicide that would protect from future weeds coming. A lot of the herbicides, chemicals we use antagonize in a tank mix and a lot of times that affects the efficacy of, of either the insect side or herbicide is affected or the fungicide and herbicide. So this gives ability to separate those two products and not have that lowering of the effectiveness of the products that they're spraying. Customers are looking at this equipment and they have it. It cannot be sitting on the headline of the field waiting to figure out that we have software that needs to be updated and wait for a technician to come out. We have to be ahead of that, proactively be fixing the equipment. When I think customer service and what RDO looks at customer service, it's a collaboration of multiple departments working together to support that customer.